talk to Manny. He was on the show. He was pretty funny. That was a great interview. He said that he would definitely win the fight. This weekend, Stephen A had an opportunity uh, to sit down with money. And I'm assuming he says he too will win the fight. So help us out, Stephen A. Uh, tell us about Floyd's <laughs> mindset. Uh, well, what was your takeaway? He's incredibly confident. Yeah. Um, one of the things he did acknowledge that there are certain things that he's doing um, differently as it pertains to his training regimen because he says this ain't the typical opponent. Um, Manny Pacquiao is a different beast and he will be ready, supremely confident as always. Um, in the days and dare I say weeks to come, you'll see more of it because we spent about seven hours together. I, I wanted to sit down and interview and he said, Let's make this like 24 access, 24 seven access. And at his house, apartment, casino, private jet, we were all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, and we spent pretty much all of Saturday evening together, um, evening in my, le in my language. My lingo. <laughs> I mean, that might have been daylight hours for him, mm -hmm. but for me, it was the evening, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, we, we, we spent about six or seven hours together, talked, and it's something that you'll see all over various shows, of course, across the ESPN platform in the days and weeks to come. Of course, Sports Center, you'll see a lot of it here. Uh, you'll definitely see it. You might see it on outside the lines. I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, and we, we talked about everything. We talked about some of his troubles. We talked about the fight. We talked about what went into making the fight. He also talked about how he was the one pushing for it. Okay, and all of the stuff was lies about how Manny and Bob Aaron was pushing for it. Wait he a was, second. So he was, he's saying that he wasn't running from the fight. Not only is he saying he wasn't running, he basically implied they were the ones stalling, not him, because oh. he had been trying to make this fight. He is all on camera, and Skip will see uh -huh. it for himself. Uh -huh. He even mentioned my man Skip one or two times. He was just having fun. It was nothing, no, nothing That's major. Okay. I'm, I'm taking saying, it serious. I, I know. That. I'm just saying, but but. I, <laughs> I'm just saying I wouldn't I wouldn't let something like that happen. But um, you know, he was a, he was just he just said, you know what, I don't blame, you know, Skip for feeling the way to feel. He said everybody's entitled to their opinion. He's entitled to believe that Manny Pacquiao is going to win. I feel very, very sorry for him. Mm -hmm. You know, that he believes that about Manny because it ain't gonna happen. You know, I just laugh about it, but you know, that kind of stuff. But ultimately again, it's something that, you know, will be all over the media, uh ESPN platforms in the days and weeks to come because there's enough material there uh to last leading into the fight. That's how much time we spent together. That's how much we talked. Uh, we we ain't even got to a point where we were debating basketball for a half hour because he was trying to tell me LeBron James would beat Michael Jordan in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that he was saying. He, we went all over the place. No, now I know he's going to lose. Uh-oh, because he said <laughs> that. That, yeah, comment, that one comment alone. So that alone. That was, that was Did you get that on tape? <laughs> Everything, <laughs> that was another thing. He insisted. I mean, the can it didn't matter where we went. Yeah. Uh, whether it was in his den, his movie theater, his living room, you know, the back where he showed me about five Bugattis, the cars, and, and, and you know, the Lamborghinis and everywhere else. Didn't matter where we were. Didn't he, he buy something for his 14 year old, like a Bentley? You know, like he went, he wanted, grand. Well, the, he called that his driving around car. That's what we were driving in okay. with the can. The camera was in the back seat. Mm -hmm. uh, the camera crew was in the back seat, but he did not want the cameras off. He wanted the cameras rolling the whole time. Do you feel like you asked him everything? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, ESPN is doing some other things, too. So there are other things that they were going to touch on as well. For me personally, the primary reason I was there was because of this fight coming up. Mm -hmm. You understand? And there are other things that other folks are going to get into. I asked him about some of those things as well, and you'll see that on camera. But it'll get folks will get into whatever they want to get into more extensively. My interest is what it has always been in. Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather mm -hmm. Jr. on May 2nd mm -hmm. at the MGM Grand. And... That's a lot. That was some of what we talked about, but we also talked about his image, uh, his mean, you know, what he means to box and what people feel about him, how people want him to fall, mm -hmm. and why we got into all of those things. Okay. Good. I am extremely happy for you and for this network that you got seven hours with Floyd Mayweather Jr. But now I have to be real and defend my position and Manny Pacquiao's position here. I'm, I'm also glad that you were there to document all of what I think is mm -hmm. Floyd's insecure bluster. I think he fears Manny Pacquiao, and I'm not going to back off that. You, you've heard the old expression, whistling through the graveyard? You know that one? No. no? You know I that one? I Thank do. you very much. Floyd is whistling loudly through what will prove to be his boxing graveyard, as in his first loss. 
I still believe with all my heart and soul, and again, I'm getting a lot of this from the Pacquiao campsite, that Floyd ran from Manny Pacquiao for not two or three years, but for five long years, regardless of Floyd's position. Respect that. This is what I believe. I believe he got shamed into this fight in the end as he turned 38 years of age because it finally came clear to him he did not and could not risk retiring with that big ugly asterisk on his record ran from Manny Pacquiao. Just couldn't risk it. Just couldn't live with that. So he had to take a fight that he fears against a left-hander who has equal hand quickness to Floyd's and who has serious punching power and a huge heart and who has badly, badly, badly wanted Floyd Mayweather Jr. for the last five years. So Floyd's a big gambler, right? He's a big better. He won $90,000 Saturday night. He bet that the Utah Jazz would be ahead of the Detroit Pistons by five points at the end of the first half. Won the bet. That was the bet? Yeah, that was by the bet. five? And those simple, the yeah, those simple and won, bets. And won it and won $90,000 and then took me and the ESPN camera crew to pick up the $90,000 with the camera rolling. Really? I could have used $90,000. Yeah. I just I, want to put that I out I think there. you're good. <laughs> so, so I think is, you're good. This is what I believe. That, and I can certainly be wrong yeah. about this. Uh -huh. But if you put Floyd on a lie detector, if he had to wager a ton of money on this fight, uh -huh. I believe he, he would lean toward wagering on the other guy. I don't think he thinks he can beat the other guy. His father has been outspoken about that for a long time. Remember when Senior said... Mm -hmm. I, I don't think Floyd understands yet that he can beat Manny Pacquiao. That was just maybe six months ago. <sighs> I hear where you're coming from. You have to understand that now that the fight is signed, we had fun with Pacquiao. We're going to have fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we're having fun talking about all of this stuff. You have to understand that just as resolute as you are, mm -hmm. Manny Pacquiao will win this fight. That's how I feel about Floyd Mayweather. I know you do. I think Floyd Mayweather is going to put something on that boy. I truly believe that. I'm not saying it's not going to be a challenge. I mean, no disrespect to Manny, who comes across as an incredibly nice guy. And he's obviously, he's wonderful to me. I love him laughing at me personally. It's it's, it's fun. It's lighthearted. And, mm -hmm. you know, because I don't want him to get hurt. I just want him to lose to Floyd because I think Floyd's the better fighter. And I think it's one of those things, man, where Floyd makes the points here, you know, he knows to take this guy seriously, but he's been there before because I specifically asked him, you know, and I can't wait till you hear his answer and the way he delivers it. I had to press him a little bit about it. I was like, why are you trying to act all zen? Why are you trying to be calm? Why are you trying to be mad? He's like, all right, fine. He said he don't know what he's gotten himself into. You going you gonna to come at me like that? that? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying he said on camera, okay. and this is what he said. Right. He's going to tell you what he said to Manny. Okay. All right? He's going right. to say this stuff. And, 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 you know, and to some degree, on another aside, and that's something that he may get into, he may or may not get into. Again, you know, you get all the tape footage, you know, there's something that we'll sift through. But he spoke about Manny Pacquiao and how it puts a, it, it's a it's it's a bit of a put off that you got folks in America. This dude is from the Philippines. He takes his money and takes it back to the Philippines. And you got folks in this country cheering for Manny Pacquiao over him. So you, you think know, that's you know, that, that, I'm just saying. No, well, he didn't use those words. Just, just and in one breath, and in one breath, he'll say he doesn't care. But in another breath, you can tell that he does care that some that that somebody else would be being rooted uh, for ahead of him, and who, who he reminded me represented his country in Olympic competition. So he's like, here I am wearing the red, white, and blue, but I got folks here rooting against me. But that has always made me better, and I will be there May second. Do, wait a second. Does Floyd realize that his out of the ring behavior has made him difficult to root for? I don't think so. No? I don't think so. I think that, you know, because when you talk about fighters and you talk about boxers, they don't usually look at that as a reason why somebody would pick them to lose over somebody. Their attitude is, is that you want somebody, you know, when you hear stuff, you bad for boxing and all of this other stuff. Think about some of the elements that have involved the sport of boxing throughout time. And he's looking at it from the perspective that you got people that want him to lose because they're tired of him controlling the sport because he's the best in the world and he's his own boss. That's how he's looking at it. Okay. And, that, and, that, and that's what offends him because he's like, it's the American way. Everybody aspires to be in this position that I'm in. How are you going to have a problem with me because I got it when everybody's pursuing okay. it? Okay. That's a good point. Okay. Last quick question. Did it come up about this report 
from inside his camp that he dropped a sparring partner with a body shot? I did ask him about that. Yeah. I did ask him about that. And? He said, I'm putting in the work. Everybody knows what time it is. He sort of got Marshawn Lynch on that particular subject. Oh. You know why I'm here. Oh. <laughs> that kind of I, thing. I thought maybe he, that kind of he, thing. he admitted to you he's actually sparring with Justin Bieber. Oh, no, Jack. He dropped Yikes. Him. That, was, go. that see, was nice. I, I, see, that was a nice shot. Said, you could have resist. Good for you. Resist. Yeah, I, I like could have resist. But, but, but again, you are resolute in believing that Manny Pacquiao is going to beat him. I'm resolute in believing that Floyd Mayweather is Good. going to school this Good. man. Somebody's going to be really sorry on the night. So Stephen A uh, spent seven hours with Floyd uh, Mayweather. Looking forward to your interview, especially about what he had to say about his image and how he's being perceived. Uh, I'm glad that you had the opportunity to have that interview. We transition to NCAA, shall we? Uh, did you guys fill out your bracket? Here's my final four. Kentucky, Villanova, yeah, I said Villanova. Duke and Wisconsin, no surprise, Kentucky will win it all. Uh, it was complete pandemonium in our morning meeting when we were making our, our filling out our brackets. But joining us next is our very own Seth Greenberg. He will tell us who he has going to the Final Four, as will Skip and Stephen A. Join us right after the break. Have your brackets along with you.